guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful The Arsenio's ESL Podcast. And today is a special debut. I was supposed to do this podcast late last night, but you already know me. I am not one of those people who like doing podcasts late at night. So here I am early in the morning debuting this amazing a podcast. And this is about the writing skill course that I officially have available. Now, if you guys hadn't already heard, I got a grammar elementary course, pre-intermediate and intermediate courses that are available. So make sure you get in contact with me and ask me um, about testing, about uh, what is it, assessing your grammar and stuff like that so I could be able to recommend the right course for you. Now, in conjunction with that grammar course, you also have the writing skill course to put what you learned in the grammar course together with that. So obviously there being 10 units in the grammar course, you're also going to have 10 units in the writing skill course. So basically after you finish, like let's say unit one in the grammar course, you would go to the writing skill course and do unit one. So with that being said, what does the writing skill course entail? Well, it's going to be a lot more than the grammar. Grammar is basically you just answering a couple of things correctly, but we need to be able to make sure that you actually know how to use it. And so that's why you have to do it in conjunction with obviously the, the writing skill course, right? And in the writing skill course, you don't only just have one entry, you have two. So a maximum of let's say 19 different assignments that you're going to be doing. So there is a writing skill for every unit and a writing task for every unit. So let's look at it this way. In unit one, okay, basic grammar for the elementary course, right? So you're going to use that grammar and create simple sentences with punctuation. And then you're going to write about someone. This is going to be basically a 50 word assignment, which you're going to have to submit to me as well as all the other homework. So what you learn in the grammar course, if you purchase it, you're going to be using it with writing. Now, depending on where your level is, again, I know there are a lot of, I have one amazing Taiwanese girl. She got like a 112 in TOEFL now. Remember, you don't want to just purchase it right off the back, okay? But if you believe you are at an elementary level or even a beginner, this is the right course for you. But if you were to send me a paragraph saying, hey, you're sitting here, da, 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 more than likely you're going to be sitting at a pre-intermediate slash intermediate level, all right? And those courses are being created. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be finishing the pre-intermediate writing task. I mean, I'm sorry, the pre-intermediate writing course today, all right, so please keep that in mind. All right, so here we go, going into unit two. The writing skill is going, it, it entails doing the, what is it, unit two, the not repeating words and writing about a friend's family. Unit three is going to be about adding information, writing about your own study space. Unit four is about using numbers in sentences and looking at a graph, how much a particular family spends in a month. Unit five is going to be about adding information using adjectives this time, and then you writing about one of your favorite restaurants. Unit six is going to be about joining sentences using and and but, and then you're going to write about two people's habits, which you're going to have in that writing task. All right. Unit seven, expanding notes into sentences. Now, for you very, very beginning students who have difficulty uh, with, like, say, if you have to, uh, you know, take TOEFL like one of my students right now from Brazil, I'm like, listen, this is going to be huge because you're going, this is exactly what you have to do in your independent essay writing based on the notes you write, or I'm sorry, integrated writing. You're going to have to write those notes and expand them into sentences. Not only that, we're going to write about something more general in the writing task, such as writing about your own neighborhood. All right, for those of you who are in business, the language of emails and then writing an email to someone at a conference is something that you're going to be doing. Unit nine, you're going to be supporting your writing, given reasons, writing about a job you would like to have in the future. Remember the would like to. That's part of the grammar that you, if you have already taken the grammar or bought it, you're going to see that specific unit, that lesson number nine in your writing skill and writing tasks that you're going to have to do. And the last unit is about writing paragraphs. That's what the elementary pertains, okay? The elementary course, this is what it consists of. This is what it is comprised of. So what you're going to have to do, all right? 
You're going to have to get in touch with me. Say, how am I going to be able to assess my language? I'm very interested in both the grammar and the writing school course. Again, you're going to be able to upsell. Uh, you're going to be able to get it for a little bit of a discounted price if you buy one for the full price. And listen, if you're listening to this right now, you literally have four and a half hours. I will repeat that. You have four and a half hours to get it at the $37.50, uh, uh, what is it, price that it's at before it goes up to 50. Now, if you do buy it at 50, you'll be able to upsell the other course for a little bit cheaper, okay? The grammar versus writing skill compilation, okay? Or combination. Now, for those of you who are very good at writing, the pre-intermediate course, which is going to be phenomenal of the writing skill, is going to be available. The grammar course is already there. Now, also, the intermediate course of the writing skill, the grammar is already finished. It's available. But the writing skill isn't. That's something that's going to be finished by, let's just hope and pray for tomorrow. Okay? And then, obviously, upper intermediate, then going into advance. And then for those of you who would like like reading courses with vocabulary, that's going to be joint together. That's going to be happening after I finish all the other courses too. So with that being said, if you are interested, get in touch with me. Follow me on Arsenio's ESL podcast as soon as possible. Ask me. And again, if you say, listen, I'm interested in this course, I would like to have the discounted rate, but the writing skill isn't available. Am I still going to be able to get it? Yes, you will. All right. Do not worry about that. That being said, people. Take initiative if you are serious about a, your learning and developing your skills in terms of writing and your grammar, putting the grammar into context, not learning it out of context, like what you see on ridiculous ass Google photos and people posting random shit in different Facebook chats and stuff like that. Uh uh, you gotta put it into work. And then again, submitting your assignments to me too. So, with that being said, stay tuned for more over and out.